Hey, this is Brian once again coming at you with, this time, a maintenance tip. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I like to tinker on small engines and repair lawnmowers and weed eaters, and I've designed some uh, propane conversion kits and some electric start kits and everything. If you want to see more of those videos, go right up here and subscribe. Check out my other videos, and you're going to see how to actually convert your lawnmower to run on propane, make it last a hell of a lot longer, let your engine last longer, and don't have to worry about winterizing your lawnmower. But in this case, I want to talk to you about some simple maintenance. We're not talking about the air filters or anything like that or changing oil, uh, although that's in other videos. But what I want to talk to you about are these. You're like, what is that? Is that a dime? Is that a nickel? No. What this is, these are neodymium or neodymium, depending on how you pronounce it. There's various people out there that call it different things. These are magnets. These are the rare earth magnets. Now, these aren't very big, but these things are exceedingly strong. You can get these at, um, in the hardware section of your Home Depot or your Lowe's or your Ace Hardware. They come in various sizes. If you go on Amazon, you can even get some that are literally like a, a five pound weight. that are so strong it comes with a warning about your fingers being crushed because they're so strong. But what do I do with these? Well, uh, it's always beneficial to try to keep the metal filings out of your engine oil. More and more lawnmowers, whether they're the riding type or the push type, are coming with actual oil filters. But traditionally, for I mean, for the last, well, since they've been around, they don't come with any oil filters. They just tell you to change your oil on a regular basis. But what can you do if you don't have an oil filter? Well, you're going to trap your metal particles with these. Well, how do you do that? Let's talk about this larger one right here. Um, under most of your lawnmower decks, um, you're going to have an oil drain plug. It's usually right up next to the shaft, um, towards the center of the shaft, not out towards the edge of the blade. Um, use a, a socket wrench. You extract that plug. All the oil pours out of the bottom of the engine. Some of you may have a lawnmower engine where you actually have to tilt the lawnmower over. And if you do that type of thing, type of thing, check your, your manual, but it's always going to be tilted away from your carburetor. If you tilt the engine towards your carburetor, all that oil is going to flood into the carburetor and, and gum it up and, and just really cake it up and you're going to have a lot of problems. So always tilt away from your carburetor. But what I do is I take this larger disc and I place this on the head of that oil plug um, after I get the oil drained and I plug the hole back up this goes on the head of that plug and what this does is this super magnetizes that oil plug so that any oil or, or any metal particles in that oil get drawn to that plug so that the next time I drain the engine oil um, it comes out and those metal filings aren't floating around uh, in the engine oil. But let's say you don't want to do that. What's another way we can do it? Well, this smaller one right here, as small as that is, it does a great job. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. But what you do is you take your metal dipstick. Well, if you have one, most, most lawnmowers now come with a metal dipstick to check your engine oil. Well, that little magnet right there, if you attach it to the bottom of your oil dipstick, it's not going anywhere. The engine's not going to rattle it loose or anything like that. It's not going to get caught up in the gears and tear up your motor or anything like that as long as you have a metal dipstick. This is so strong, it'll stay on there. Put that dipstick down into your engine, and as the engine and the oil is splashing around, all the little metal particles are going to stick to that magnet. And you can see this when you pull the dipstick out after two or three hours of running it. You're going to see these little, it looks like black carbon powder. All of, that is metal filings from your engine. New engines and old engines wear. And as dirt and metal and stuff gets shaved away and that engine polishes itself, uh, you're going to, uh, that acts as an abrasive, microscopic abrasive, but it's wearing down the rings and different components of your engine. So these are two simple things to help extend the life of your motor. So the next clip you're going to see is uh, actually looking at the dipstick and looking at those metal filings that I'm going to show you in my lawnmower. Okay, this is one of my three mowers. Um, this mower right here, may look familiar from a previous video where I converted it to run on propane, and this is another mower from a previous video that converted to run on propane. Both of these have um, the magnets on the dipstick and underneath. Um, this is my 
uh, my newest lawnmower, one that's brand new. Those other ones were basically rebuilds from another friend, uh, friends of mine. But we're going to take a look and hopefully you can see, I know it may be difficult, but if you look really, really close, there is some metal filings all over and around. I'm trying to move it a little bit. All over and around that magnet. And what that is, is metal filings. And I wish, I wish this had a macro lens on it so I could zoom in a little bit better, but you might get the idea of it. But that just sticks right there. I'm gonna put it right back down in there. I'll lock it down here in just a minute. But hey, that gives you an idea of how it can help you. Uh, I hope it's helpful. Remember to look up in the corner for my little icon. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know how things go.